Well, that's a Roger Black motor and its controller. There, sticking out from underneath that sheet, is uh, the remains of a treadmill. And what I've done is I've hacked down the uh, control panel, put it inside a bit of a wooden box, fastened the power bar onto the back. This isn't fixed down yet, so none of the electrics fixed down. The motor's just temporarily clamped onto the end of that. It doesn't even have to be anywhere near the lathe. It's not in any way attached to the lathe, but um, I thought I'd try it there to see how it looks. I'm now going to plug it in and turn it on. I hope I've got the wiring right. Right, the advantage of using the control panel from the treadmill is you have a virtual no volt release switch. I, well, I understand it should just stop if the power comes off. That's the whole point of the safety features. So I've plugged the mains lead in and that light glows, that's reassuring. Oh, and something's come on on the control panel. Let's switch that off. Switch that on. Ooh, that's very nice, isn't it? Uh, and so if we press start, three, two, one, and there we see the motor going at the equivalent of 0 0.5 miles an hour. Pull, pull back a bit. 0 0.6, 0 0.7. One mile an hour, 1.8, 1 1.9, two miles an hour. I don't know how that's going to come out on the movie thing, it's spinning. Uh, it's actually going in the wrong direction. Uh, if it's on that way, which is the way around, I'd need to have it to keep the weight reasonable. Is that the wrong direction? Yep. So I'm going to have to reverse the motor terminals for my purposes driving this lathe but there we go that seems to be because <laughs> it freezes the uh, that stroboscopic effect that's going to 3.3 and remember it will go up to 8 miles an hour but for this small lathe here we're not going to need anywhere near like 8 miles an hour if I want to stop it that's a uh, slow down and stop. Well, I only have to decide how to connect from the flywheel pulley thing on the end of here. This is well and truly screwed tight onto the end of the shaft. The flywheel does add, add a little bit of inertia to the motor. I'm not sure whether that's a good or bad thing. Um, I'm not sure I need the highest of torques. I think the motor's way over power for this small lathe. So the fact that I'm running it at a fraction of its um, true full power shouldn't uh, be a problem. In other words, I don't think I need a counter shaft to reduce the speed because it is a 4,800 RPM motor and we only need a couple of thousand RPM. Uh, for this thing at most. So there we go. I'm quite pleased with that.